Hi, this is Mr. Mellinger, your chemistry teacher. Um, I wanted to go ahead and make a video. I have had a number of new students come into the class a little bit late. And um, so I wanted to give you a simple overview of how to do assignments. And many of you have already been in the class. I'm going to go ahead and just send this to you anyway. I think most of you know this, but maybe some of you are still having a little trouble with how to deal with assignments. So this is just a quick video to go over that. So when you go into the Canvas site and you see the link up there, the um, address up there and the URL, and it's also on the syllabus that you have, um, this is where you'll land. This is the home page. At the top, you see announcements. I don't really use that that much. I you tend to send emails out when I want to make an announcement. Um, be sure that I have an email address for you uh, that is um, the one you want to use. And if not, please uh, send that to me. So it's organized to be very simple. Um, it's about two hours of, of, of work each week. It's supposed to be about a half hour uh, a day. 20 to 30 minutes. Some days I don't give assignments. Some days I'll give an assignment that covers two different days. And so it, it varies, but it's a, generally about two hours a week. So if you're one of the students that just joined the class, um, you should be able to catch up. We, we're into the third week. We're finishing the third week. You should be able to catch up in about five or six hours and be totally caught up. There are no tests in the class. If you turn in all the assignments, you'll get an A. Um, and so I'm trying to relieve you of any more stress than you need. Some of you are having difficult times and I want to be sure that you can get through this class. And this really is an easy chance to get an A in the class. So um, I hope that you'll take advantage of that. So the way I've organized it, if I go down below, here's week one. And that was the week that started on April the 27th. That was three weeks ago. And you can see the assignments here. I have, uh, I have five days worth of assignments. Two of them are uh, 45 and 46 are together and so are 47 and 48 and then week two there it is I didn't give an assignment on one of the days um, and then this last week is a uh, pretty serious subject uh, stoichiometry but I walk you through all the problems and I'm going to talk to you about that in just a second so let me demo this for you if you um, haven't seen this already I'll go back to the uh, day 45 and 46 assignment and if I open that up it looks like this and what you see is you see a YouTube video there and that's about a 12 minute lecture video so I'll just show that to you really quickly. Alright class, so we just finished a lesson on balancing chemical equations. Now we're going to start getting into using the chemical equations and what they're used for. Um, first thing we need to understand is this concept of a mole. So what is a mole? A mole is that very Okay, so that gives you an idea of the lecture. It's 12 minutes. And then there's an assignment to accompany that right here. And that assignment, you can download it. It's a Word document. Um, so you can download it if you'd like to print it out. You can, you have the choice of doing that. Or you can write it out on line paper, which would mean some copying. You don't have to copy every question. You just put down the answers and be sure it's clear which question uh, they refer to. If you would like, to do that and write it on line paper there's that click that little icon and there's an image of the assignment and you can go down and see the assignment down down here okay so there it is down there and that's the assignment for this particular um, lesson then when you're ready you can go on down and um, there's two solutions videos. It's not always two. Sometimes it's usually just one solutions. I basically work every problem for you, except maybe one or two. Maybe I'll hold back one or two problems that I want you to do on your own. But you'll get the majority of the credit if you just get through the problems that I do on the video. So I'll just show you a quick sample of that. So we're indicating the same number in grams, which is what we measure things with in a laboratory. That's the unit that we use in a laboratory. No other number will make that direct conversion from 2.02 to 2.02 grams. Okay, down here we have 16, so it's 16 grams. And finally we have 8. Okay, so again, you see, how I'll just walk you through each problem. And hopefully this is not too much trouble for you. If you do have problems, you can contact me seven days a week. 
and I will be glad to help you through email or phone call or whatever you need. Um, we do have uh, weekly Zoom meetings for you to ask questions or just deal with any issues. They're, they're not required, um, but it's nice to get a chance to talk with some of you sometime. And I decided I'm going to give extra credit for that. So if you show up at those, I give you, um, I think it's 25 points extra credit. It's just a little bit of extra credit. Now to submit your assignments, there's two ways you can do it. You'll see a submit assignment button here. If you click on that, what ideally you should do is just take a picture of your assignment. Be sure it's clear. Sure I can read the writing on it and um, that you write big enough that I can see it. And then it's just like um, attaching an email. It says choose file down here. And so you can open that up. And you can go, you know, uh, put your image on there. Um, and you can add another. So if it's multiple pages and you've taken multiple pictures, you can go ahead and add that and then just submit assignment. Or you can email it to me. That's perfectly fine. Just put in the title line, your name, what the day number is uh, of the email. That would be um, appreciated. And if you're going to be working off your cell phone, or at least taking the picture from your cell phone, there is a Canvas app. So go to wherever you go to download apps, and you go to Canvas Student. Uh, not Canvas Teacher, Canvas Student. And it's very simple to download the app. About the only question it's going to ask you is your school. And your school is San Diego Unified. It's not Hoover High. It won't work if you put Hoover High. So San Diego Unified. And just download that, and again, you can you know see the assignments there or if you just want to take the picture and upload it through the submit assignment button on the app you can do that so I hope this helped to get you through it whether you're new to the class or not and um, if there's anything I can do just give me a call give me an email and I'm available pretty much every day to help you so take care I want you all to get through this class and get through it successfully and um, be well and I'm around City Heights by the way oh, one more thing I am at Hoover High on Mondays from 3 to 5 I sit in the parking lot right across from the Wiener Schnitzel I'm just sitting in my car so if there's anything you need to deliver to me or pick up from me um, that's a that's a time when we can actually you know have contact with each other so that's Mondays from 3 to 5 o'clock right uh, next to the Wiener Schnitzel in that parking lot there okay you take care and um, look forward to hearing from you in the future